Welcome back. In the last video, we understood how to connect to a Linux EC2 instance. In this video, we'll understand how to connect to a Windows EC2 instance. Alright, so I'm at the EC2 console right now, and you can see that I already have an instance running. When I click on the description section, and when I scroll down, you can take a look at the AMI ID, which is Windows Server 2008 R2. Let's try to connect to this Windows Server. Connecting from a Windows device is straightforward. On Windows devices, you have the Remote Desktop Connection tool, which can be used to establish a connection. However, if you are on a Mac or a Linux device, you may have to download a Remote Desktop Connection tool. On Macintosh devices, you have a Remote Desktop Connection tool, which is pre-installed, and it looks like this. Personally, I find this tool not useful at all. I've tried using this and it gives you a lot of trouble. So instead, I'm going to encourage you to download another tool which looks like this. So you can go to iTunes and you can search for Microsoft Remote Desktop Tool and you will get one that looks like this. I'd encourage you to use this one. This one is much more flexible and easy to use. I'm going to open up the tool first. Alright, there I have it. And I'm going to say New you need to provide a connection name. So first I'm going to go to the EC2 console and copy the private, I'm sorry, the public IP address which is over here and I'm going to put that in the connection name and also in the PC name which is the IP address portion and the username is administrator and for the password we need to go back to the console and we have this option over here that says connect. So I'm going to click on that, connect you have the username which is administrator we'll click on get password and we need to point the browser to the key file so I'm gonna say choose file and I'm gonna search for my file alright there you have it so I'm gonna select that and click on open and I can click on decrypt password to get that password this is going to be the password to connect to my Windows EC2 instance. Remember, this is the default password. Once you log in, if you change the password of your Windows device, you don't need this again. You're going to be using the password that you have updated on the Windows instance. Right? So this one is the initial password. You're going to be using this as long as you have not changed your password. Once you change your password, it's always going to be your password to log into the Windows instance. I'm going to copy that, go back to my tool, and put that in the password section over here, and close, and I can say right click and start. Before you do that, make sure that you've allowed remote desktop connection in the security group section. Let's check that first. Back over here, I'm going to close this. So in the security group section, I have a security group which says RDP and HTTP. A quick way to find out if RDP is allowed inbound or not is to click on this hyperlink over here which says view inbound rules. You click on that and you see that we have 3389 TCP from all source IP addresses allowed. Right, so make sure that you have RDP allowed. Back over here, I'm going to right click and say start and that should start my connection. So it says you're connecting to RDP host 34, 154, 131, 160. The certificate could not be verified by a root certificate. This happens because the EC2 instance is presenting a self-signed certificate. So it gives you a warning. Do you recognize the certificate? I'm going to say continue. And there we are. We are logged in to the Windows instance. Let's just wait for a second. All right, so we've logged in. On Windows EC2 instances, you'll have all the information on the top right hand corner. And this in my opinion is very handy. You can quickly find out your public IP address, your private IP address, your availability zone, your instance size, your architecture, instance ID, and host name. Right, so that's how you connect to a Windows EC2 instance. Like I said earlier, if you're connecting from Windows devices, it is pretty straightforward. Just open up your remote desktop connection tool type in the IP address, username and password, and you're ready to get started.
In the next video, we are going to look at a very interesting topic which is called as volumes and snapshots. If you have a question, please let me know in the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe, I have a bunch of videos lined up for you. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.